Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back. My name is Ben. If you have ever heard or used the Pomodoro technique to concentrate, I have an application for you that is barely known to people and it does it so well. The application name is Bluebird and it is accessible across all Apple ecosystem, Apple Watch, iPad, Mac and iPhone. I believe this application deserves more recognition than it got because it has a very beautiful UI and the user experience is spot on. Let's discover it together. Let's go to the Bluebird website. And as you can see, they stated, stay focused anytime, anywhere, which means that across all your devices, uh, going to the application store page, I can see that it is well maintained. Updates are very frequent. The application is quite young. It's less than a year old, nine months. I would say in this nine months, they achieved a lot. The application is really good. We will see in a, in a second. It is accessible across all your devices, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Mac, and Apple Vision Pro, if you have one. So beside that, the subscription price, as you can see, yearly comes around 40 pounds, monthly five pounds, and one-time purchase, which I believe really worth it, is 60 pounds. It's a bit on the pricey side, but I would say you get what you pay for. Let's get into the application now. So getting to the application, the first thing you see is a list of your tasks. Uh, sliding to the right, you see today, schedule completed. Everything related to organizing is here. On the bottom, there is settings and sliding back to the main screen. Here's your timer slider. And you can pick your selected task also here from these pre-created ones. Here I can choose the task that I want to run my timer on. Task can be infinite or you can set finite timers. And your slider works two way. I can set timer or I can set count up. So it is countdown versus count up. So when I selected my task and the counter, I can then press start to begin my focus. Then I'll be directed to this beautiful UI, very minimalistic. If I tap anywhere on the screen, I should get rid of distractions. It's now focused completely on timer. Using this plus and minus button, I can reduce or add time to my timer. Then I have always on button, which prevents the device from locking. Once it's on, regardless of timer on the lock screen, my phone never goes to sleep. Then I have stop button, which if prematurely I press it, I can discard the current progress. Or if I progress above one minute, then I can preserve some logs on my timer and exit the timer. I have a dedicated button also for white noises, which I can set for focus mode. And here are some samples of them. Once you finish the focus session, you will see this screen. Around here, you can go back to your previous screen, you can take a break or you completely exit to the main screen. You can add or remove time uh, if you want to continue with the current session using plus and minus buttons. Let's try adding some time to the current session. And as you can see, I can keep adding to it and continue with the previous session. You can take a break once your session is completed and you can also add time or remove from your break timer. Back at my home screen, if I slide on any task and select a focus session, I should see this screen. Here I have a slider that I can adjust the timer and it can go up to, I believe, four hours. Yes, so the maximum time is four hours. Once adjusted, I can press start and start my focus session. Up here, if I press on three dots, I have the ability to take a break immediately. I can just set the timer and press start for the break. Let's run through some of the important settings. Here I have focus timer, count up, countdown by default I can set. If you want, you can set the preferred duration for your break and for your focus session as well here. 
Then I have auto break, which automatically sets the break for me once my focus session is over. Progress reminder, which sends me a notification on the progress, for example, every five minutes, 10 minutes, or whatever interval I set for it. Distraction blocker is very important. I can block access to application or certain websites during my focus sessions. Once you tap on it, there's a guide on how to enable it. Going back into my application, now I should be able to add any website that I want to authorize during my focus sessions. Here on the block apps, if I permit the application certain permissions, I should be able to add applications that are accessible through my focus session. Let's say, for example, I want to block every application on my focus session. When I save it, if I run a focus session now, I shouldn't be able to access any application. This is highly customizable, and I'm sure you got the concept how to configure your applications. On the same setting tab, you have the ability to change the default white noise. On the interface side, you have different icons you can choose among. On the themes, you have only dark and bright. I prefer dark. Beside that, uh, you have sync. I suggest you keep the iCloud syncs on so all your devices remain connected. Creating a new task, uh, you can enter the task name, add a note, set the duration for it. And if you leave the duration clear, uh, it should give you an infinite task. Then there you have priority set. You can set start and end date. Uh, you can choose your reputation uh, and you can even customize it to whatever repetition you desire. And finally, you have tags. This is for organization purpose purely. You can simply set a task to done by simply sliding to the right and tick on it. This is useful when your timer finished earlier, but your task didn't finish. Beside that, Bluebird also gives you a good amount of statistics if you want to see what you have done in the past and also get some reports on your activities. Now let's take a look at the Apple Watch application. So if I tap on Bluebird, open it, I can see some of the features that a mobile application gives me. I can uh, set countdown or count up, uh, set my timer, start a session on my application. And I can see the immediate effect on my iPhone. Sliding to the right, I should be able to finish the session. And going back to my home page, I should be able to see a tiny little icon indicating that a timer is running. Let's end this session and try a countdown now. So if I go back to my timer, set a countdown, then define the duration, start. Now I have a plus and minus button to add and remove from the timer. So I can add time to my timer or remove from it. So this is it. I think this is by far one of the best Pomodoro application that I could find for focusing. It has all the features you could wish for. Uh, countdown and Countdown are very useful in this application. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.